guys, we are here for a uh, whatever Wednesday. Are we here for a whatever Wednesday? Or Hi guys, so I just wanted to take a minute to record and let you know what has been going on. So the last time I talked to you, I told you that I wasn't going to be recording last week um, because I was having vein therapy done. That didn't happen. <laughs> I had two kids that ended up with the flu last week. I still have one over here that is very sick and it drew me to a conclusion. I cannot commit to three videos every week. Now before I started this whole YouTube journey, I had no idea what a YouTube video consisted of. I thought you pressed record, maybe you edited out a couple things and then you just uploaded it ain't wrong, especially when you don't know how to edit videos. So I am self-taught and I don't have the best equipment. I literally am working with an iPad and an Android phone. That's it. I refuse to buy equipment until I start making some type of profit. So if that's a year, two years, three years, then so be it. That's what I'm using. I'm using what we have. So I'm using free editing um, software and I'm flipping back and forth between ones that I think I finally like one but the point is is that it's taken me a long time to figure out how to do this so I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be cutting back my videos from make it Monday tidy up Tuesday and whatever Wednesday to just a tidy up Tuesday and a whatever Wednesday I feel like that is where I can be consistent right now and I feel like in order for me to be successful in seeing this through because I want to see this through I feel like I have to be um, real with myself just like I try to be with you guys so being real with myself means that I can't hold myself to a standard that I don't feel is um, something that I can accomplish so two videos Two, make it Monday is out for right now. Maybe it'll come back. I don't know. But for right now, Tidy Up Tuesday and whatever Wednesday is going to be my focus. So I'm glad I'm back this week. I hope my kids just keep getting better. <laughs> and then um, I'll be able to stay consistent with this. So here we go with the Tidy Up Tuesday. I am redoing my pantry organization. My pantry is actually in my laundry room. And it's uh, just down the hall from my kitchen, so it's not it's not far at all. So I uh, went to the Dollar Tree, got my stuff, and let me show you what I did. Hi guys, we're here for a Tidy Up Tuesday. Pretty excited about this one. I have been wanting to get my pantry all straightened up, and whew, I'm really shaky today. Sorry, it's my thyroid. I'm really shaky. I will try so hard not to shake the camera, but I'm super shaky, so I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I want to get my pantry tidied up. So I went to the Dollar Tree, and they had the white bins. They never have the white bins. And look at the gloriness of the white bins. So I will show... <laughs> what? I do. I love white because it goes with everything and it looks so clean. So let me show you what I got here and then we'll um, go in and see what we got in there. Mm -mm, it's not going to be good. Scary. Yep, it is scary. All right, let's see what we got. Show here. you what I got here. So I've got four of these bins. These are my favorite for organizing under cabinets because they're the perfect size. So I've got four of those. These are the large bins. I love them. I love them. They're square. They're very, very big. I mean, they're huge. And they're so sturdy. Like, they're not, they're not flimsy. Love them. And then, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just excited <laughs> that they had the white bins because they never have them. So even if I don't use them for this project, these, I'll use them for the next. These, are the these of, like, are great. I've got an idea for these to do like bags of chips. Oh, nice. Um, 
they're pretty big too and they're not flimsy um picked up and how many did i get of those i got four of those four of those bucket looking things so no i didn't hannah just brought it to my attention that one of these was broken you know i even said I'm not going to look. I even said I'm going to make sure that none of these are broken and one of them is. All right, so I also got about three of these. And these are great. I'm thinking like packets of sauces, um, like chili packets, things like that. Um, so we'll see what we do with those. So I'm pretty excited about all my white um, stuff from the Dollar Tree. So let me see. I said I got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars. 16 dollars from the Dollar Tree. Let's see what it does. All right, guys, let's set up in there and start cleaning it out. I got you guys all facing a wall right now because this is going to be a big reveal. And if you're not scared, you should be. Whoa. So, this is what we're working with. Um, up here. Not sure why we ever felt like there would be um, a crisis where we would need three bottles of mustard at one time. I'm not sure what that's all about. Oh, it looks like there's like uh, two things of ketchup. So we were preparing for something at some point, I guess. I don't know what the heck we were preparing for where we would need massive amounts of ketchup and mustard. do this but gotta get done so let's get in it Those. I don't know how old this stuff is because it was repackaged. Throwing it away. Can't take any chances.
We're getting somewhere. We're not there yet, but we're getting somewhere. I'm trying to group like things together. I know most people would be like, oh, clear it all off. I'm not doing that because in my mind, if I clear it all off, it'll be too overwhelming for me. So I just take things a little at a time. I'm, I'm looking at this and this is not in the clip where it's supposed to be. It's just sitting up there. I wonder if my husband knows that. The shelf is not sitting in the clip. Anyway, <laughs> see? I just don't, I don't have a focused mind. So if I was to just put it all together and be like, okay, just start fresh, it just doesn't, it wouldn't work for me. So I'm trying to group items together and then I'll go back through and organize the baskets inside. But right now I'm just trying to get somewhat of an idea of where I have things and where they need to go. That's just the way that I do it. I know there's a ton of other people that would say, just clear off everything and start fresh. But like I said, that would be way too overwhelming for me. That's just my personality. I want to take little chunks of things because that way if I can walk away from it and it's still a little bit functional, then I feel okay with it. But if I was to just completely take everything off of here and walk away from it, like I know I'm going to have to take Selena to the gym when she gets home from school because I already talked about it with her this morning. So I'm going to have to walk away from it. When I come back, if my mind's not ready to finish it, then it's okay like this. But if I was to take it all off, it would not be okay and I would have to get it done. So this is how I'm doing it. Might work for you, try it out. <laughs> Garbage, seriously, yeah. I know whose crackers those are because they're gluten free. That would be my Hannah banana. It's just a little bit of vinegar and water with some essential oils, orange, so it can smell nice and fresh in here. And that way when I wipe the top of the cans, it's just vinegar and water. It's not gonna, you know, if the residue stays on the top of the can, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt us when we open the can to use it. These baskets I've had, they, I believe, came from Target. So I really love this color, my favorite color. I'm sure you've picked up on that. So I'm doing this color in white. I'm getting rid of these dark, dark baskets because they just don't go with the color scheme. So I feel like if I can get it all color coordinated, like I'll be inspired to take care of it. Maybe. All right. Expired wheat germ. Expired December of 2016. Go mom! Three of these. I would have went out and bought another one next week. This is why being unorganized costs you so much money. Honestly. Because I have three of these and I would have bought another one. And eventually one of these would have gone bad. I mean, they're bottled, so yeah. They're good until, that one's only April 2018. March of, I don't have my glasses on. March of eight, March of 18? Gosh, that looks like 2012, but I know it's not. <laughs> Yeah, this is March of 18. See, I need to use these up. Best by April of 18. So seriously, I would have went and bought more of these and these would have expired. So being unorganized costs you money. It's the truth, truth. And I'm talking to myself, not just you guys. Obviously I'm talking to myself. Time to package up the absurd quantities of ketchup and mustard that we have. All right, so I am making progress and I'm excited. 
I am excited. Very, very excited. I'm making progress. Like the whole top of here is done. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can't wait to try out these RX bars. So I got them at Target. I've been eating the Cliff Bars, um, which are really good too, but I noticed they're really sugary. And so I'm trying not to, um, like if I'm gonna eat sugar, I want ice cream. I don't want a Cliff Bar, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to put my nutrition where it needs to be as far as like, if I want to snack on something, I want it to be the real thing. Healthy. Yeah. Well, no. If I want to snack, snack, I want to really eat sugar. So I'm going to say um, these are chocolate sea salt, and I'll let you know how they are. I'm excited about them. A couple things. I need to put one of these in my um, in my purse. I'm actually going to do that now. It's a almond butter. So sometimes you'd be surprised, as much as I weigh, that I forget to eat. You'd be surprised, but I do. And um, like if my thyroid's off that day, because I have Graves' disease, if my thyroid's running really high that day and I forget to eat, I get super shaky, super lightheaded, like my heart starts pounding. So I'm gonna put one of these in my purse, and that is always there for that, you know, oh, I forgot to eat and I need something, so. You want to do that for mom? Sure. I'll slide that in my purse. purse. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So that's why I bought them, just to make sure that I always have something on hand if I start to feel a little shaky. So I know that I said I was going to use these from the Dollar Tree for my little um, packets. But I found this I bought for organizing. They came in a four pack. So I didn't use these. And so I'm gonna use these actually for my sauces and gravies. Um, if I find a use for these right now, great. If I don't, they go in my stash of baskets for later organizing projects. Never throw away baskets, ever, because you will regret it if you do. Always make sure you just put them in a corner somewhere or, or store them out in the garage, whatever you gotta do to get them out of you know your way so it's not cluttered, but don't throw them away because the next time you organize, you might find out, like I might find out that none of this works for me. So I might have to rearrange. Um, so always keep extra baskets. When you get done organizing one area and you decide to not use certain baskets, always keep them because you're always gonna be organizing. No. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. This is the expensive food that our dog gets to eat because she's allergic to like everything in the whole entire world. So she used to break out in hot spots really bad. Um, like she used to um, eat a hole in her tail. Like every spring, every fall, she'd be eating this hole in her tail. It would get all infected and it was gross and... It was just horrible. So we kept taking her back to the doctor, back to the doctor, back to the doctor, and they're like, it's just a hot spot. You know, she's allergic to something. Well, we don't know what she's allergic to. So then we finally got the allergy testing done. She was allergic to beef. She's allergic to flaxseed. She's allergic to corn. Oh. She's allergic to rice. She's allergic to everything. Like herself. <laughs> yeah. So then we had to um, figure out, okay, well, she's allergic to everything. We got to find a food that she can eat. We finally found Pedigree or Purina um, grain free Purina. And she did really well on that. No hot spots for like three years. Well, then she stopped eating it. I mean, just stopped eating. She's old, so we were like, okay, well, crap, what are we gonna do? I mean, she's gotta eat. She gotta take meds. So um, my husband went and found this one. It's Simply Nourish, and it is chicken and venison stew. Yeah, that sounds like something that you could order off of a friggin' menu in a high-price restaurant. Um, Two dollars and thirty-nine cents a can. Make me puke because she eats like uh, probably half of a can every night. So yeah, look at that bill. Plus, she still gets dry food. It's crazy. But if your dog has hot spots during the spring or during the fall, it's worth it to go and get the um, blood test done for um, allergies. So you can find out what they're allergic to because she hasn't had a hot spot yet. Like I said, I think it's been three years. 
Okay, Shola. No hot spots, so. Doing good there. Here's the other animals. <laughs> yeah. Piggy. Oh, piggy, piggy. I know. They need to be clipped. This one's going back into her foot. It actually. Okay, just go take her out of here. Okay, I love you. Oh boy, we still got a lot of stuff. Sometimes you just gotta dance it out. It's kinda like walking it out, but it's a little more extreme. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm so close to being done. Oh, I have two more baskets over here. I'm running out of room is what I'm doing. <laughs> no bueno. more baskets than I have room. Now what? Now what do I do? Let me just show you where we are. All right, this is where we are, and I'm liking it. I need to label. I need to figure out that. I don't know if I'm getting into that today. I'm thinking now. This is garbage right here. It's garbage. These bins, I don't know where they're going. I really don't. I, I mean, in a perfect world, that whole underneath area would be like all cleaned up and the bins would sit beautifully right there. But I have my rotisserie. I have, uh, don't even know what's in those. Not sure what's in that. Uh, no clue what's in that blue one. I probably need to go through that, but I'm not doing it tonight. So, I'm pretty happy so far compared to where we were half an hour ago. Doing pretty good. So, I guess stay tuned and I'll be back uh, when I figure out what I'm doing and after I get a whole bunch of labels on everything. My favorite thing in the whole wide world is my label maker is so pretty. Brother P Touch. Um,. I love labeling stuff, I'm such a geek. That's all right though. All right, I'll be back. So, I was reviewing the video that I had just gotten done with. 
Hand move your little head, baby. Oh, Please. sorry. That's all right. And, like, I just kept looking at it, and I was like, what in the world? Like, that bothers me. So, I came in here, and I rearranged the baskets. <sighs> it's really frustrating. So, everything has to be, like, symmetrical in my mind as far as, like, it's really hard to explain. This basket right here was a little basket. That basket right there is a little basket. So, last the last way that I had it was that I had everything grouped the way that I wanted it to, but then the baskets didn't match up. So I came in here and I changed around the baskets so it's little and then big and then little again right there. Then the bottom shelf couldn't deal with that the way it was because it didn't look right. The heights didn't look right to me. So it's really frustrating actually to it, it irritates the poo out of my husband because he'll go to move a piece of furniture and I'll say, oh, it's not right in between that. And he'll say, well, that's not where I'm going with that. Everything in my mind, like when you look at it, stuff just has to be like symmetrical. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. Just things have to be even. I posted a video last night on Facebook and it was a um, video of uh, 3D pottery making. Anyway, it was like the most satisfying video to me ever because it was, um, of course, 3D printer and it was clay coming out of it. And so it was set up that every, like every area was, if they were doing a cross hatch pattern, every area was symmetrical because it was all set up by the computer. So kind of hard to explain, just trying to, um, I don't know, trying to let you know that if that's the way you think it's okay. I try not to go overboard with it because I know that like it can be considered like unhealthy or whatever. I don't obsess over it. Put it that way. Like as you saw, my whole pantry was a disaster. I'm obviously not obsessive about everything because that wouldn't be like that if I was obsessive. So anyway, Selena's calling me. Just wanted to get in here and tell you that little thing and I'll be back as soon as I get everything labeled.